Alright, today we're going to be doing a video where I'm actually putting a tire on the new motor for the GTS. This isn't from Bike Scooter City at all, this is one I bought off AliExpress. It's got hall sensors and it's from a speed jewel. I don't know which one, but it does 65 when it's hooked up to its normal controller. So we're going to chuck a tire on it and hope it does well. We're going to push down on one side to get most of the bead over already then we're going to just work our way around gently until it sits it's not too hard but sometimes it can be a bit tough just keep trying patience will get you there in the end you'll feel the bead slip just a little bit each time you press down don't get disheartened just keep trying and pop that's one of the hardest parts done Next we're going to throw the tube inside, I've inflated it just a little bit but I need to take the rest of the air out so that I can actually squeeze it in. You still need a tiny bit of air in the tube so that you don't pinch it while you're putting it in. If you do that you're not going to have a good time, it's going to go flat before you even get the tire on. We're going to lift the top bead that's exposed to us a little bit so that we can wedge the tube in there and just work our way around gently, making sure not to twist it. Once it's in, rotate the tire so that the valve lines up with the hole inside of the motor. I'm just going to let a little bit of air out of the tire tube again. And then it's time to pull the valve up inside of the tire. I'm going to use my pliers to do this. It's just a little bit difficult if you use your hands. There's not a lot of room inside to work with. I'm just poking it up nice and gently. I'm not trying to mar up any of the surfaces or anything like that. Now we're going to seat the top bead, this is the last part to the whole thing really. Just push down as much as you can without breaking the bottom bead that you've already put on and work your way around the outside of the tire nice and slowly. It's much easier than putting on the first side as far as I'm concerned because everything's already pretty well held in place. Just make sure that the valve's lined up one last time and then we're going to give it a pump. To do this I'm going to lift the valve as high as I can and then wedge the screwdriver in between the valve and the motor housing. This prevents it from sliding back inside of the rim and being a pain. It's a really tight fit on some pumps so just be careful, take your time, don't rush and don't go yanking things around. I only put a little bit of air in there just to make sure I can get the entire thing sat properly. I like to be really careful because I've pinched a few tubes before and it's not fun to pull a whole tire off after you've just swapped it. And then inflate to 50 psi. Thank you. 
give it a bit of a tap, roll it around a little bit, make sure the bead's sat properly all around the rim. It should be even the whole way around. If it's not, let the tire air out again, shuffle it around a bit and try again. All right, now if you've made it this far, you're looking at what's going into the Dragon GTS. It's a content controller. It's about a kilowatt. There's two relays for controlling the brake cutoffs and the lights at the same time. There's a new thumb throttle with voltmeter and key switch, so I can actually lock the scooter. The content controller also has a programming dongle, so I can put some open source e-bike firmware on there eventually. It's got an LCD three, left and right indicator, headlight button and horn button. They're all waterproof on the left there. Next to those is the headlight switches and then two new headlights and a speed dual motor with hall sensors. Hopefully all these things lead to a very powerful scooter. We're not talking a lot because it's only a kilowatt, but it's meant to be just enough to get the missus happy and moving properly. This thing should be reliable and very fun. Stay tuned, like and subscribe if you enjoyed and you want to see more. See us next time. Bye. Oh yeah, and if you'd like to save some money on some Dragon scooters, have a look in my description below and you'll find some discount codes on just about every single one of them. Bye.